Some of the things I'm about to show you are for Christmas presents and so I will be sending them away to Santa. So Abby and Brooke, if you're watching, please switch off. Thank you. Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. It is Fiona here and I have something a little bit different for you today. Last week my mum and I went to a craft fair in the SEC in Glasgow. It was the Creative Arts and Crafts or something and it was a brilliant day. One half of it was crafts that you could make yourself and the other half was crafts that were handmade and you could buy ready-made to give as gifts or use around the house. And we got some really unusual things there. So I thought I would do a little haul for you just to let you see what we got. Um, as I said in the wee intro there, some of the things are Christmas presents and I will be sending them away to Santa. Um, because it's the sort of thing that you can't really get anywhere else. So I don't think Santa would be able to get it if we just gave him a list. Nudge, nudge. So... I think I will just get on with it. This is not going to be in any particular order. It's just going to be random. And not everything that we bought is here because um, some of it was my mum's and was taken away. But let's just say it took three trips back to the car. That's how much stuff we had. And uh, my mum spent, I'm not going to say in case my dad's watching, but my mum spent a lot of money. But hey, a lot of it was gifts. Right, let's get started. Now, one of the things that I like doing, one of the crafts that I like doing is perler beads where you get the little beads and you put them on the pegboards and to make a pattern and then you iron them and you take them off and you can do what you want with them. Hold on a second, I'll get you a little example. We've actually, um, Brooke and I have just made some Halloween gifts out of perler beads so bear with me and I'll just get them for you. I think you. I said Halloween gifts, it's not gifts, it's Halloween decorations Fiona, behave yourself. Um, so I'll just show you these. Hold on. Just need to untangle them. They should actually be on the wall by now, but Jack's not got around to doing it yet. Tut tut, Jack. Oh, I can't be bothered untangling them. I'll just let you see an example. So there is the little ghost. This is basically a, a string um, of decorations that's going to be going on the wall. A little pumpkin witch. Frankenstein's monster and I'll actually show you this because Brooke did it herself I put it on the canvas for her but she actually made it herself put that there and it is Pennywise from it and we just made them and popped them on the canvas so that's an example of perler beads we both really enjoy doing that sorry you're a bit squint Brooke and I both really enjoy doing that however the big pain for me is the ironing of them because you can spend hours doing a pattern and then if you don't iron them just right it can all fall to bits when you try to fix it and then trying to decide what you're going to do with them can be a bit of a nuisance as well so we came across a place called the craft ducat when we were at the show and they do something called pixel mosaic and it caught my eye straight away because it looked like perler beads, but slightly different. And basically what they do is they have a base plate, which looks like this. So it looks rather like the perler bead pegboards that you get, but the little pegs are, hold on a second, I'll just, right. So the little pegs that you get come in strips. You can't really see it because of the sun. The sunshine's really trying to jinx my videos this week. So it's little pegs that have got tiny little holes on the back of them. So they're square rather than round with like the perler beads. And you get a pattern and tweezers and you basically lift a peg off there and pop it on the base plate according to the pattern. The good thing about that is it all stays on the base plate. You don't need to iron it. You don't need to do anything with it. Once it's on, it's stuck on. It, there's no glue or anything like that. It's amazing the way it's done. And it's up to yourself what you do with it. You can actually hang it on the wall just on the base plate. Um, it did have some little keyring kits. So once it was done, it was a keyring. Um, and it's actually amazing. Now this one that I'm showing you 
is going to be a Christmas tree. So the company is the Craft Duke, and the craft is called Pixel Mosaic. I've not actually had a shot of it yet, but it looks fab. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. And they had hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of different Pixel Mosaic kits, ranging from very small, like key ring size, right up. Now, each of these base plates are this size, but the Christmas tree kit that I've just shown you, the base plates actually end up sitting together. Now you get little clips that stick them together like that. So that's the size that the Christmas tree is going to be. And like I say, you can frame it, you can put it straight on the wall, you can do whatever you want with it, stand it on a wee easel. And I just thought that was really, really good. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Now this one was £16.50, so not the cheapest. However, that is a two plate one. You do get them smaller, which is obviously less expensive. You get even bigger than that. There was some there that was like four plates um, and they were sort of 30, 30 ish pounds. Um, so they do go up in price as they go up in size. But I just think it's something that little bit different either to give as a gift or just to have in your house. It's really different. So that Christmas tree one is for me. But because Brooke really enjoys doing the perler beads with me, I got this one for her to send to Santa and it's a wolf and you don't really get the the proper effect of it in the picture however when we were actually at the craft show they had some of them made up and displayed on the wall and this is absolutely stunning um, it really is stunning when it's made up this is just a one base plate one so it's smaller and it was £13.50 so I'm hoping that Brooke really enjoys doing that. I'm sure she will, especially since she doesn't need me to then iron it for her. Um, if she's struggling with it, I can help her, not a problem. And if she doesn't enjoy it, I'll just take over and do it. But I thought that was really, really good. So that's Pixel Mosaic from the Craft Duke. I would just like to say I'm not sponsored by any of these companies at all. When I was at the craft show, that was the first time I'd seen them. And um, I would imagine I will be back in touch with them again to order more things but I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them in any way, shape or form. And if you do want to go on and have a look at the different range of patterns and things that they've got, it, the website address is www.thecraftducat.co.uk Okay. So that's them. Bear with me a second and I'll just get the next thing. Right. Now, sorry if the lighting's changed. Hopefully it's a bit better. Um, I've just closed the curtains because the sun was getting way too bright. Okay, so sticking along the same sort of lines, the next stall that we actually went to... I got so excited when I saw it. Um, I don't know. Apologies for the dog barking. I think that's someone at the door. <laughs> it's this time of year. Everything's ordered on Amazon. And uh, every time someone comes to the door with a delivery, this happens. Bear with me. Sorry about that. It was a delivery and it was actually for another haul that I'm going to have coming up shortly that I'm excited about because it's to do with our little elf visitors that we get every year at Christmas time. I will say no more, but look out for it. Oh, sorry about Rannock in the background. He's just wandering about there. Okay, hopefully we'll get peace from the dogs now to carry on. So as I was saying, one of the things that I really enjoy doing, if you've watched in my distraction technique series you'll have seen that I do the 5D diamond painting and that's basically it's a bit like painting by numbers but instead of using paint you use little crystals to stick to the material. Now the kits that I use normally are just material and then once they're done you need to frame them or put them on a canvas or something um, to hang them up. And that's where I always fall down. I'm terrible for that. I've got about five of them sitting in a drawer doing nothing at the moment because I can't be bothered framing them. So we came across this stall 
who had almost identical products, but they were already mounted. So there was some on canvas, there was some um, that come as a card, a gift card. There was some that come on like cardboard that sit on a little wooden easel that comes with it. And I was so excited when I saw it. Now, like I say, they do cards that once you've done the diamond painting, you can open them up and you can write in whatever you want inside and give them to someone. So my mum bought some for Brooke. I think they were four ninety nine each. Right, they were five pounds each, four ninety nine each, or five for twenty pounds. That's what it was. So I think that was only for the show that they were doing that. They don't do that online, but you can order the kits and things online. So I'll show you the cards that she got, Brooke. Because she was thinking, it's nice at this time of year. We don't give Christmas cards generally. I give to charity. I give the money that I would spend on Christmas cards to charity. But we do like to give special cards to the aunties and that sort of thing. So my mum thought these would be nice for Brooke to do and give to her aunties and to my mum and dad. Even although my mum now knows because she's picked hers. And this is what they look like. So this is one that um, she got Brooke to give her best friend at her new primary school. And look, it's a unicorn. And the whole unicorn is done in the crystals and the background is left plain. So that is the actual card. And in the back you can see it comes with the crystals and the little tool, the wax and the little boat as I call it. Um, and that there shows an example of some of the other cards that they do. So she got her the unicorn, which is gorgeous, that's for Verity. She got, oh look, Santa beside the Christmas tree. Now this one, it's the whole of Santa and his sack that is done in the crystals and the rest is plain. And the good thing about that is it makes the, the bits where the crystal really stands out if the other bit's plain. So that's for one of the aunties. I'm not going to name names in case they're watching. Look. Merry Christmas. And the Santa, Snowman, Elf and Rudolph are all done in the crystals. Absolutely gorgeous. The Christmas tree with a lovely village snow scene and the whole Christmas tree is done in the crystals. So they're an ideal size for Brooke. And look. A little puppy in the Christmas tree and it's the puppy and the gift box that are in the crystals on that one. So like I say, they're an absolutely ideal size for Brooke and she will love doing that. And that's the range of Christmas cards that they do. Aren't they fab? So if you want to order them, they are www.craftbuddy.co.uk or on Instagram, they're at Crystal Card Kit. And I can see me definitely ordering more of these. So they are for Brooke, but from the same company. You, if you've watched my last Slimming World update, you'll have seen this, but I need to show it again because I just adore it. This is what really caught our eye um, when we were passing the stall and um, we decided to go in and have a look. Hold on a second, I'll just turn you around and show you. And it is this gorgeous canvas. Now, this is already mounted on a canvas. This is the box that it came in. It's already mounted on a canvas, ready to go on the wall. As you can see, it's 90 by 65 centimetres. Now, it says it's partial crystal, but really, the only parts that, aren't, that don't have crystals on it is Santa's face, the little elf pixie girl's face, and the clearing in the trees. The rest have all got crystals on it. And my mum has actually set me a challenge, I'll show you out, to complete this in time for Christmas. Whoops, sorry about that. To complete this in time for Christmas. So there it is out. It is huge. Okay, absolutely gorgeous. And down here is the section that I've already done. So you can already see it beginning to sparkle. And I'm so excited about this project. I'm actually doing a separate video on it. I, I did an unboxing and every now and again I'm just going to record where I'm at with it until the very final um, 
completed picture so that will be coming up in the future hopefully before Christmas because I've told my mum that if I don't manage to get it done in time I'm giving her her money back so this was £59 um, it is quite expensive but you can see it's actually already mounted on the canvas ready just to go on the wall fab, I love it now the only other thing that we picked up from the craft side that you do yourself was some wool so we got two balls of red double knitting and one ball of the grey double knitting. They were £1.29 each, which was quite a good price for um, 100 gram balls. And they're actually for a Christmas crochet blanket that I've not long started doing, but I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to do any more of it because I'm going to be so busy doing my mum's canvas. Who knows? So that's what we got from the make your own craft side and then we wandered over to the side where the crafts are already done for you and wow the things that were there were amazing there's so many really talented people out there there's gorgeous um glass decorations like for tea lights behind and that are all hand painted there was one with the uh, leather craft and oh absolutely amazing uh, there was a lot with um different wooden crafts and you could buy them already done or you could buy kits that you would put together yourself a bit like um when i was young i used to like doing some model airplane type things like that but on a much bigger scale you would um build them together and paint them and they just looked amazing but i'm rubbish at painting i would just make a mess of them um but we did pick up a few things from around there and i will show you now i am a sucker for a demonstration and I shouldn't be because I used to be in sales a long time ago. So I know how it works. I know the whole pattern and I know the whole how to actually get people to stop and listen to you. Um, there's a knack to it. I know how to do it, but I still fall for it and I still love it. And if people do it in a way that I can tell that they're not really passionate about what they're demonstrating or what they're selling, I'm not interested because to me, a good salesperson is passionate about the product they believe in their product and there were a few people in particular that really did come across as passionate about what they were doing and i did watch their demonstration and i did buy so i will show you just now now the first one it was a sort of hands-on demonstration as we went past the lady and um, she was a lovely chinese lady and she said come here can i do your hair and i was like yeah okay and um, I've seen these things online before and thought they looked amazing but thought they'll never work like that in reality and it did it was amazing within two seconds she had put my hair up now as you can see I've got really really fine hair um, I, the illness that I've got my hair does fall out quite often not completely it's not like alopecia um, but it falls out in phases and it does get really really fine as you can see and I never wear my hair up for that reason I don't like my hair away from my face anyway but if I do try to put it up it's so fine it all just falls out but within two minutes she had put my hair up and it looked amazing and it was using something called the magic clip and I'll show you, I've got mine out because the, the other ones that I got were for um, gifts. So when you take it out of the pack, it looks like this. Mine's is a black and a gorgeous sort of turquoise green. And the other side of it, it's like a hair comb. So what you do is you put one side in there, the other side in there, and you can use it to clip your hair up in a bun. You can use it to put your hair in a ponytail. In fact, hold on, I've got the little card somewhere. Here we go. And that gives you an idea of the different styles that you can do. And I mean, she literally took less than a minute to put my hair up really neatly. And I was so impressed with it. And even though my hair's so fine, she put it up and we were talking for a good sort of five minutes and it didn't even start to fall out. It was so comfortable. I didn't feel like I had it in and it lies flat against your head as well. So if you've got it in and you're chilling out, lying, you know, on the couch or sitting back in the car or whatever, it doesn't really doesn't dig into your head. So I was really, really impressed with that. 
so much so that I bought one for me. Not that I do put my hair up very often, but I thought every now and again, if I'm going out somewhere nice, it would be good. So I got that one for me. And I also got one. Abby and Brooke have both got um, very long hair. And my cousin's wee girl has also got long hair. So I got one for Brooke. Now these are being sent to Santa. So that one's for Brooke. That one is for Abby. And that one is for Millie. Now they were quite expensive. How much were they? I can't remember exactly how much they were. Remember, but you can go online and check um, www.themagicclip.com and they're also on Facebook as well. So if you're interested in that, go on and have a look. Um, they did a really good deal with that. And while I was also there, um, she said to me, do you ever curl your hair? And I was like, well, no, because my hair's so fine, it doesn't hold a curl. If I tried to curl it, it just falls straight out. And she went, come here, I'll show you this. Um, now, Abby likes to curl her hair as well, but she's never really got the hang of it. So she did a demonstration on me. And again, within less than five minutes, she had curled both sides of my hair. And she basically did a tight curl and then just gently put her fingers through it and it sat in loose curls and I was so impressed. It stayed like that for ages. Um, and it was called the 13mm Pink Hair Curler. Now these come in all different sizes according to how thick your hair is, how long your hair is. Um, the eye style. And basically... I need to be careful with this because I've actually bought this for Abby for her Christmas. It looks like that. Now there's no attachment or anything. It's purely a, a wand that gets hot. It's a tourmaline, tourmaline wand. So it eradicates frizz and closes the cuticle to create smooth and shiny hair apparently. Ready to use in just one minute. The clipless curler will not tug or break your hair. So basically what you do is you plug it in, you switch it on let it heat up and it comes with a glove so you put a glove on your hand and you basically take this put it underneath the top bit of your hair and then just wind your hair around it like that with your gloved hand hold it there for three minutes was it no it couldn't be in three minutes one minute yeah ready to use in just one minute you hold it there in fact, it wasn't a minute. No, she counted down from three. She went three, two, one and took it off and it stayed curly. Um, absolutely amazing. Again, the sort of thing that I wouldn't have believed if I hadn't seen it for myself and especially if it hadn't been done on my hair. Amazing. So I'm hoping that Abby likes it. I'm hoping she can use it. Now this, I'll see if it's got the price on it. The RRP is... £130. I would never pay £130 for that. Never. However, they were selling them at the show for £80 and I thought, that's not a bad deal considering what it does and considering how much it is for accessories like this. But I thought, no, I've, I've got other things that I want to buy Abby for her Christmas. I'm not spending £80 on it. And I just said to her, I says, oh, I've not got that much left on me because they, they didn't take card at the stall. They only took cash. And she went, oh, how much have you got left? And I says, oh, I've only got £40 left. And she went, well, you bought the clips from me. I'll give you it for £40. So £130 um, curling wand that I got for £40. So I'm really excited about that. And hopefully it will work well on Abby's hair. Abby's hair's thicker than mine. So it might take a bit more work with it being the, the slimmer one. Um, but if it doesn't work on her... I can use it on me and I can always buy her another one, a, a, a thicker one, if she wants it. So I'm going to pop this away and then get the next thing out to show you. Right, now, the next thing that was demonstrated, I had to stop and watch because A, the guy was really passionate about it and B, it was a kitchen gadget. Now, I do Slimming World. I'm always looking for kitchen gadgets. Anything to make my life easier, especially with being in the wheelchair. Cooking can be a right pain sometimes. So... I saw a kitchen gadget and thought, oh, I'm going to watch this and see what it is. And it's something called a Diablo. I had never seen it before. Diablo. And it's a toasted snack maker 
that's what it looks like. However, there's no plugs or anything like that. There's no mess. You basically put your filling in it, put it on the hob like you would a frying pan, and it cooks whatever's inside. Now you can make, hold on a second, I'm trying to open it. I've not used it yet. So this might be one of those gadgets that look great and you buy it and you use it once and then put it in a cupboard and forget about it. It might be. I hope not. It doesn't look like it. So it comes with uh, instructions and oh, it looks like it's got some little recipes in it as well. Yeah. It's got some recipes for savoury ones and sweet ones. So basically what it looks like is that Diablo, the devil. Okay. And what you do is you open it up and in there you pop whatever you want. So he was showing like a cheese toasty. So you pop your bread on the bottom plate. You put whatever filling in you want. Put your other bit of bread on top. Close it down like that. And obviously this is round. So what happens is it seals the bread. You don't need to use any oils or butter or anything like that. Because it um, goes all the way around, it cuts and seals the bread. You just take the excess off and it cooks this gorgeous little toasty in, inside it. So you can do a, like a cheese toasty, a ham and cheese toasty, a tuna toasty, anything you want. You can use bread in it. You can use wraps in it. So on Slimming World, we can use our Healthy Extra B wholemeal bread. We can use a Weight Watchers wrap. Um, you can use pastry in it to make pies and you can also make omelettes in it. What I've really fancied it for, you can make pancakes in it and I thought if I whiz up my um, mix for my oat pancake or the banana pancakes, you know, you can just blend banana and egg together and it makes pancakes. Brooke loves that and I try to make it for her but it always falls apart when I try to flip it over. But this, you basically just put your pancake mix inside, close it down, sit it on the hob for a few minutes then just turn it over and cook it on the other side and then you open it up and you've got a perfectly made pancake. You can do the same um, to make an omelette. Um, he showed us making poached egg in a sandwich. So it was basically your bread, popping the egg in, putting the other bit of bread on and closing it and just leaving it for a while and it toasted the sandwich and had a perfect poached egg in the middle. It looked so nice. So like I say, it might be one of these things that I use once and then put in a cupboard, but I'm hoping that it's going to be one that I use quite often. And then to clean it, ah, there we go, there we go. It comes apart like that. You can either hand wash it or you can pop it in the dishwasher. It's dishwasher safe. So, so easy to clean. Fingers crossed that's going to work well. I love, I'm a sucker for a gadget, especially a kitchen gadget. And the last thing that I've got to show you, I'm all about candles just now. If you've watched any of my other vlogs, the house that I'm in just now, um, it, it still smells a little bit. It's We, we can't get rid of the sort of fusty smell that's in it from the, the old couple that was here and it was lying empty for a while. So it was a wee bit damp and it's difficult to get rid of the smell. So I'm always burning candles and wax burners and things to try to get rid of the smell. And although the candles never even smell glorious, they only mask the smell that's there. So as soon as they're switched off, the smell comes back. Now we turned the corner and the first thing that hit us was a gorgeous smell. And I was like, oh, what's that? And then I saw a whole collection of these beautiful things. Like that. And I was like, oh, what's that? Is it an oil burner? Is it a candle? Is it the base for a lamp? What on earth is it? So they gave us a demonstration, another demonstration, but this one took 33 seconds. That's all it took them. They were very proud of the 33 second decoration, demonstration. And it was a company called Fragrance Express UK. And again, so passionate, really, really nice people. There was a lady there who was a Scottish rep and there was a guy there who was the founder of the company and the two of them were just lovely. We stood there for ages chatting away to them and they showed us how it works. And it's basically, it's different to any other sort of burner type thing that you get in that the decorative cap comes off and that's a snuff cap, okay? So 
it's a catalytic converter that's on there, a bit like um, that's in a car. So what you do is you light this stone, you use a lighter and light this stone and let the flame burn for about two minutes. Then you blow the flame out, you pop your decorating lid back on and the oil that's inside here comes up through the wick and as long as that stone's hot, keeps sending out the smell. Now, this doesn't just mask the smell, it actually removes any other odours as well as giving out. So it's like a purifier as well. So it purifies the air and it gives out the lovely scent. And there were so many different designs of this um, type of I don't, lamp, I guess you do call it. And then basically what you do when you're finished with it, there's no flames or anything because your flame, remember, is burnt, uh, blown out after two minutes. There's no cables, plugs, anything like that. And when you're finished with it, you basically just pop the sniff snuffer lid back on and that seals it. So any of the fragrance that's left in the lamp can't evaporate um, or keep, um, what's the word, keep diffusing because of the snuffer cap. And the oils last, for, because of that, it lasts for months and months apparently. And they had so many different oils that you can use with it. And they spent ages, they were so patient, they spent ages letting us smell all the different oils. And oh, some of them were just amazing. I love fruity smells, I love cinnamony, spicy smells. And there were just so many. And I ended up getting this pack. So it's a fruity pack and it's got lemon it's got vanilla and it's got black raspberry and as you can see it's a black raspberry that I've got in my lamp at the moment. Now the price of these lamps they, they did seem quite expensive but when you consider what they are they're not really. The lamps ranged from £35, I think that one was £40 and there were others at £45 I think um, and the oils depending on the size of the the bottle that you were buying were like £12 or £8, but like I say, they do last a while. But they were doing a deal that if you bought, you could buy any four lamps and get a free fragrance with them all. And this was also free as part of the deal for £120, which was a really, really good deal. And my mum decided that she was going to buy some as gifts. I'm not going to say who for in case they watch. Um, so she actually ended up buying five. Now, the one that I've got, my mum gave me for my birthday. It was my birthday on Sunday. So my mum gave me that for my birthday. And the other ones she's given to relatives and friends for Christmas. So for the five lamps, all the fragrances that came with it all, it was £169, I think, which does seem expensive, but that was five gifts that she's got people. And some of the people are quite difficult to buy for. Uh, and because this is so unusual, it's the sort of thing that people are going to remember and going to really appreciate, hopefully. So, yeah, we really like that. And they've got very good aftercare as well. They give you a business card for each lamp that gives you a code to go online and you can get special demonstrations, you can get special discount codes, things like that for any future oils that you want to buy. But the range of oils was just amazing. So I absolutely love it. I have to say. So that's the little haul that I had for you from the craft fair last week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments both things before or if there's anything that you fancy trying. Also, if you're looking for details of any of the the companies, let me know and I can pass you details on uh, website addresses and things. Did I show you this one? There's the details for that one www.fragranceuk no fragranceexpressuk.co.uk and yeah so that's what we got from the craft fair i hope you enjoyed this haul and keep looking out for the the big canvas that i'm doing i will show you that once it's all completed and please get in touch with me below Oh, and remember to look out for my special elf haul that will be coming up in the future. I'll probably call it something like um, a top secret haul because I don't want kids to see 
what it is. And I will put a disclaimer at the very beginning saying not to have any little ears around while you're watching it because I really don't want the magic spoiled for anybody. Um, so look out for my little elf haul that will be coming up probably next week. I know it's early, but I can't help it. I'm just, it's it's going to be November by then and I just get so excited for Christmas. Right, I really am going to go now. Sorry for rambling. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you later on. Bye!